Hello and welcome to this short tutorial on Terrain in SketchUp. This is Sam with CivilFX and we are going to show you how to use SketchUp Pro to bring terrain into an area and it's limiting because if you use SketchUp Free or even if you use SketchUp Pro sometimes you will feel like you can't bring in very much. So this is the, uh, the base model you're going to want to go to File and then Geolocation and Add Location. And I'm also going to show how to increase the resolution of the terrain that you get. So let's go to Hoover Dam. I'm choosing this location because it's close to where I live and also because there's a lot of terrain relief. So if you you zoom out you can see that white square that's going to show you the the size maximum area that you can grab and if you grabbed it right here actually let's just do that just to show you it's going to grab it it's going to grab the terrain and everything but the resolution is terrible and if you go to file show terrain right here you have the relief but the resolution is terrible. All right, so we're going to fix that. So if you go back to geolocation, add more imagery. And then you're going to want to make this box as big as you can because that's what increases the resolution. So we're going to go in right to here. We're going to select a region and you can drag this out a little bit if you want and then grab it. Alright, so now you can see we got much better resolution. You can see individual cars and a lot more detail than we did before. And then but this isn't all you can do. You can actually continue adding terrain pretty much indefinitely. You just have to stitch them together. And again, this is this is Google SketchUp Pro. In Google SketchUp Free, you only get black and white, and I think the resolution might not even be as good as well. But if you download SketchUp, the free version, which is um, it's Trimble, excuse me if I said Google, Trimble SketchUp Make is the free version. If you download it, you get eight free hours of Pro. So that might give you enough time to grab some terrain. I'm often bringing terrain into Civil 3D or InfraWorks or Lumion. And this is one of the best ways you can do it. All right, so we're going to select another region. And it's a little bit tricky because you don't know where it's going to overlap. It doesn't line up the previous area that you captured. So sometimes it's, it's a little bit of trial and error but you can see that we're starting to stitch together some, uh, some terrain. All right, so now we have the Hoover Dam and then from here you can bring in the Hoover Dam bypass bridge there are models of that in the warehouse you can also bring in the Hoover Dam there are models of that or you could build it your, yourself so this is just a quick tutorial on how to get terrain like I said you could continue stitching this together until you had a huge area as big as your computer can handle and uh, this is Sam with CivilFX Please leave a comment for if you have any questions.